You know I love you. You ready, boy? Couldn't do it without you, boy. Due to close now, you should get what you came here for. Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, uh, did you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <clears throat> no, I found your caravan down the way. Margaret said you might need a hand. Oh, he weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and, uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. You're lying from Timbuktu, weren't he? From Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. Uh, of course. <laughs> Which way did he go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop on that wagon and uh, I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. That first set of shrubs, that's where I lost sight. I got it. I got the trail. These are paw prints. I'm gonna move this wagon. Oh. 
Looks like blood to me. What's this? <sighs> oh. I found your dog. Next dog. Next. Hey, dog. boy. Next mine. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took him. Oh, that'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. Your tiger is a wild cat? Uh huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. <sighs> Uh, let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. The other half? Really? I'm gonna put him in your wagon. And find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, uh, behind that log then. Okay. Uh, grubs up. Stay down. She won't be too far away. Come quick. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar. You mean? And I end up losing a lion. Ah, <sighs> dog. Ain't having any luck. If that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. Cougars and dogs? Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. That's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and... and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. Oh, I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. Sorry, right, girl. All right, let's go. We got her! Okay. Drive, will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. She's still eating. I would have thought, since they was close and all. Wild creatures turn on each other. Seemingly friend one minute, dinner the next. This just this comes easy. I mean, I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. Is that right? No, not really. Hey, uh, I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. John Marston. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell me, Miss Nash, how you end up in this racket? I guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Margaret, we got to talking, and you can probably tell in this field he's the ace of spades. Oh, all right. It's my modest hope.
second bravest woman animal wrangler. I'd say you got that sewn up and then some. You think? I hope so. Top five, at least. It depends on how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. Maybe one of these days, the best female for the job will actually be a female. Oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. We lost the main road around here when the dust was up. Be careful, or you might get wrecked too. Okay. You know, the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out. Mr. Margaret's a lot of things, but best female navigator... There ain't one of them. I imagine you're right about that. We was tearing around here, looking for any kind of landmark, when over we go. Whole caravan toppled. Found each other and some shelter, but when the wind died down, the animals was gone. And now they're back. Some of them, at least. Thanks to you. Oh, you'd have managed it yourself. I just helped you along. You ever want to get in the sideshow business? I'm sure there'd be a place for a fellow like you. Uh, I'll leave the professional theatrics to better women than me. There it is, the caravan. Couldn't miss them if you wanted to. Mr. Mar- Aha! I see you found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good, jolly good. You know, Tarring and feathering a donkey's one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint. Makeup. But you go playing dress-up dolls with a wild animal? You better be a whole lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her do it. I always thought they got along. Well, she liked him fine. Licked her chops and asked for seconds. Speaking of which, you got word on the other runaway lion, or it'll pay me for these misfits. Look, I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cow barn in Rhodes is hardly Drury Bloody Lane. You got word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. Be a dear and fix me a gin. Go and get my repeater. Hold your side. I am holding it. Hold yours. Get back. <laughs> 
We got a cursed creature in here. Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. <laughs> it looked like a lion to me. That's a dog in there. A dog? Now, if you'll excuse me, step aside. What? I said, step aside. Here, boy. Didn't look like no dog. Go on, boy. Let's go home. Is he dead? I pray that he's a goner. Whoever owned that beast got some answering to do. All right, my boy.
guns. Sally, get the cages ready. Yes, sir, Mr. Market, right away. Man-eating lion? You didn't think it might be useful for me to know that that escaped animal was actually real? You moron! Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for... You haven't clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I knew. A goose? will hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand, and they feel the roar. And they, well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is Ramo, boy. It was him or me. Now pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is. You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado, as green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes. One man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Daddy ain't here. And we had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the line? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. I won't keep you. So long. So long, Mr. Marston. Next time you see me, I'll be talking the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. Here we go, boy. <laughs> Been a while since you were through here. Remember you. What lovely Passed weather. through here some time ago. God's huh? own country this is. <gasps> hey, boy. at all. 